The first confirmation of the fate of the schoolgirls abducted in Nigeria. In a video released today, the leader of the Islamist extremist group Boko Haram, standing in front of an armored car, says, I abducted your girls. Abu Bakr Shekar adds, I will sell the women in the market by Allah. There is a market for selling humans. Allah commands me to sell. I will sell women. Their grief and heartbreak has moved the world. It's been three tormenting weeks since the girls were reported missing, but since then the authorities have been unable to find them. The BBC has secured the first TV interviews with the mothers who are in agony not knowing the fate of their abducted daughters. Many people come to our house during the day to sympathize with us. But then at night, our family stays awake all night, thinking of our daughter and all the other girls and what they're going through and where they're being held. The girls were seized from this remote school in northeast Nigeria by Boko Haram. Nigeria's president has been accused of not doing enough to rescue the girls. Last night he spoke about the issue for the first time on television. But we promise that wherever these girls are, we'll surely get them out. There's no story that any of them has been hurt in terms of injured or, or, or dead. For a long time, many Nigerians have felt that the government's response to the Boko Haram threat has been far from effective. The president's latest comments will do little to inspire hope when the fate of more than 200 girls remains unclear. And that's why groups like this are having daily protests to express their outrage. My daughter is not with me at the moment. Uh, my parents are helpless. We are crying at home. They should bring the, the girls back. It is then that we'll have a rest of mind and support the government in anything they do. More than 1,500 people have been killed in northeastern Nigeria so far this year, and it's ever so clear for the government that the violence cannot be ignored. Tomi Oladipo, BBC News, Abuja.